Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I am going to be sharing a summer slash updated home tour. And the reason that it is both is of course it's summer right now. So I have all of my summer decor out, which I'll be showing you guys. But then I've also done a few things to our house, like just updated some rooms and everything. And so I'm going to be showing you more than just summer decor. And so I wanted to show you guys those extra rooms as well. So that is where a summer house tour comes into play. So that is what we're going to be doing today. So of course, if you guys have any questions, I will try to share everything and where it's from. But if you have any questions, be sure to leave them below and let's go ahead and get to it. Okay, so as you walk into the house, you come into this foyer area and then off to the side you have like some coat hooks so we have this one on the left where we have like the adult jackets and then on the right is the one for the boys and then in the middle we just have these key hooks i believe the key hooks came from walmart this home sign came from ross and then these coat hooks i always get questions about and those are just from ikea so then turning back around, you come into my office area and this is one of my favorite rooms in the house. So first of all, this couch is from Ashley Furniture and I believe it's called Zardoni. I think it had a weird name, but I get a lot of questions about it. So it is from Ashley Furniture. And then this throw blanket is actually from our summer decor and I just left it, or from our spring decor, I'm sorry. But I just left it because I really like the color in here. And that was from Marshalls, I believe. And this pillow is a Ray Dunn pillow and it's also from Marshalls. Oh, and then I almost forgot to show you, but I have this little stool right here and I end up just putting like my purse or like Luke's backpack during the school year on here just so we have somewhere to actually set it down. And then off to the side, we just have this little table. I believe I got that from TJ Maxx and then we have our printer down there. This sign was made for me by a friend and then these little flowers i believe i got from ross i feel like anytime you need little florals it's really nice to go to those little stores like ross and like tj maxx and stuff you can just get a lot for a little and then this plant also came from ross and then right above the couch i just have a few pieces of artwork so this one right here came from hobby lobby this one came from burlington coat factory and then this is just a picture of our boys i kind of need to get an updated one put in there and then this sign was actually made for me by my sweet friend, Emily from Mama From Scratch. She does amazing work and I just love her to pieces. Okay, turning around, we just have a picture of Kyle and I on our wedding. And then I have this sign that was made for me by one of my subscribers and sweet friends just to help me celebrate 100,000 subscribers on YouTube. It was pretty amazing, the box she sent me. So I always like to have that here. And then this and these little guys, these willow tree figurines. And this sign was sent to me by my friend Lynn from our channel, Lynn White. And then I just got this little topiary tree and this was from Big Lots. And this is a candle from Bath and Body Works. This is, I wanna say Georgia peach. Oh, this one is peach Bellini and it's so, so good. And anytime I just don't like the front of it, I will usually just kind of turn it around and it looks like a simple candle. And all of those are sitting on this cube organizer. I got this one from Target, I believe, but they also carry them at Walmart and I have gotten both of them and they work really well. And then inside I just have all of these cubes and I love it because I feel like it looks really nice but it also makes it really functional and practical and I do think that I am going to end up painting this just to kind of match the rest of the room more and then over here we just have my office desk and this desk is something I always get questions about but it is from Ikea it's the Hems brand and I really really love it 
And then turning this way, we have another item from Ikea. This is also the Hems brand, and this is just like one of the shoe organizers. And this is really nice just because you can just kind of open it up. I obviously need to clean in there <laughs> again, but you can open it up and you can just keep your shoes in there and it works really, really nice. So I have like all of mine and Kyle's shoes in this one. And then right above that, I just have a wreath that was made from another subscriber. And also this sign right here was sent to me by another sweet subscriber. I love all the things you guys always send me and I always like to display them. So this room just really has a lot of those like sentimental things in here. I also got this mirror. I want to say it was like $12 or $13 from Burlington. And then this little plant is from Hobby Lobby and pretty much anything I get at Hobby Lobby will end up being half off. And then this sign was from Big Lots, I believe, and this one was from Hobby Lobby as well. Here is just another Bath & Body Works candle. I always get these when they are on sale, and a lot of times I end up using them just for color, and then sometimes I'll end up lighting them too. And then this diffuser is from Amazon. So coming out of the office, you have this bench, and we have three bins in here, one for each boy. This bench is pretty worn, as you can see. We've had it for several years, and I got it from Wayfair online. This pillow was one I picked up for summer. I thought it was so cute. It says, only good vibes. And I love the little fun tassels on the edges. And then the pillow behind it is just from Ikea. And then right above that bench, we just have a really tall mirror, and this is from Ikea that we've had for years but I felt like when we moved in, it just fit the space so perfectly, so we just decided to go ahead and put it here. So moving out of the foyer area, you come into our kitchen, and I feel like it's so bright, so it kind of makes this a little bit dark in here. I'm not gonna stay in our kitchen too, too much, just because I feel like I don't have too much going on in here, but I do always like to hang a wreath on our pantry. I feel like that looks so nice. And it's just a fun and easy way to keep things off of your counter, but also add some decor. And then this pantry sign was made for me by Heart of This Home Designs, and I love it. She also makes one that's framed, but in this particular area, I just kind of wanted it not framed. And then the sign above it, I also got from Ross. Okay, so on our island, I just have this little utensils container or jar. I'm not really sure what to call it exactly, but it just kind of holds our wooden spoons. And I actually got this at our local grocery store. And then this came for me when I reached 100,000 subscribers. This was sent to me, this face, and I just loved it so much. So I just continued using it with my flowers, but we just get like really inexpensive, like $5 flowers from our grocery store and I just kind of change those out every so often. And then turning right around, this is just our sink area. So I wanted to just mention this because I do get a ton of questions, but this is the bubble up sponge dish and this is the bubble up dish brush. And then this tray underneath is the Grove Collaborative stoneware tray. I get all of these from Grove Collaborative, but these two you can get on Amazon. And then coming up here, I actually have another sign from Heart of This Home Designs, and I actually helped design this sign with her. I wanted something really unique and just special, and so we kind of came up with this design, and I just love it. Then off to the left of the sink, I have my letter board. You guys have seen this a ton of times if you guys have been with me for a while, but these letters are kind of Ray Dunn inspired, and I really love like how unique they are, and then this letter board is super high quality, and if you can see, it's actually like a little bit weathered and a little roughed up, so it just really matches like our more rustic decor in here. And these letters are from Words With Means, and then the letter board is from Amazon, so I will try to link both of those below. And then this cake, I got this cake stand from Hobby Lobby. And then this cake is actually something that I made and I made it because Kim Sanders from Instagram shared a tutorial on how to make this, but it's actually just a styrofoam cake wedge from Hobby Lobby. And then I painted it brown and then I put spackle on it. And there you go. Now you have a cake that is guilt-free. Moving into our dining room, I wanna mention a few things in here. So I always get questions on where we got our table, and this was actually custom made for us by some friends in Georgia. So we have just taken it with us everywhere. I will probably have this forever, and like, as you can see, if you look close, there are a lot of dings on this, and 
it just keeps making it look better and better and more rustic as time goes on. So this kind of style is perfect for what we have young kids. And then this table runner was from Big Lots and I really, really loved it. As soon as I saw it, I just loved the bright flowers. At first I thought they were lemons when I first saw the color and then I realized they were flowers and I loved it still. So I just decided to go ahead and get this one. And then this fruit basket is probably not really supposed to be a fruit basket, but that's what I'm using it as. It's usually a little bit more full, but it really kind of encourages us to eat fruit throughout the day as a snack. And so I ended up finding this one at Ross and I believe they had a smaller size as well. And then off in this corner, I always get tons of questions from you guys about this, but this was actually something that I got from Costco several years ago. I do have one saved in my Amazon favorites. So if you can't find it at Costco, then you can definitely check out there, but your Costco will probably have it for a lot cheaper if they have it in stock. But it is really nice to just keep extra fruits and vegetables in there. So this is our dining room and kitchen. And this is honestly one of my favorite rooms in the house as well, just because it's so open to everything and I just love it. Okay, so coming out of our kitchen and into our living room, our couch is from Ashley Furniture as well. We are kind of looking for a new one because while we like this couch a lot, there's not a lot of seating and we have a lot of family come in all the time. And so we really love one that's a little bit larger, but it is kind of hard to find one that fits the space. So. If we find one, we will end up getting a new one, but for now we really love this couch. And this one is called Tambo or Tambu. I think it's Tambo from Ashley Furniture. And then the light blue pillows are from Big Lots. They were on clearance. And then the yellow pillow was from Marshalls, I believe, and the gray plaid pillows were from Hobby Lobby. And then our side table is actually just from Amazon. And these flowers are from Hobby Lobby as well. I like to kind of change this one out for the seasons. This is just from the Target dollar spot for, I think it was like $5. This one came from Big Lots for $3.50. It was on clearance and I just loved like that color. And then this is also from the Target dollar spot. Moving over to our fireplace. This is one of my favorite places to decorate. So this little basket down here was from Marshalls and then the flower bouquet inside it was just one I picked up from Hobby Lobby and I love like the different dimensions of flowers it has and leaves and everything so that's why I ended up picking that one out and then on the mantle I kind of always decorate this a little bit the same so I always like to have one centerpiece and then two taller items on the side and then just some little fillers throughout so this big window pane is from Hobby Lobby as is this truck sign if you guys were following me around winter time you know that I was kind of obsessed with like the red truck. So I was really excited to go ahead and find one that I could just kind of carry my love for the red truck throughout the rest of the year. And then this little candle was again from Big Lots. These candlesticks are some I've had for a really long time from Ross, I believe. And then these two are from Burlington. And then coming over to this side, I saw this blue clock. This is again on clearance at Big Lots. I guess I must have taken the tag off that one, but it was on clearance at Big Lots and I just really loved the color. I thought that was perfect for summer. And then this little vase I found from our local grocery store, but you can honestly find these all over. And then this grass in here is actually, <laughs> it's different, but I just went ahead and set it in there. Just, I wanted something a little bit different. And that is from Burlington. Boy, I'm gonna have to fix that now. There, that's much better. Moving over to our TV stand, I was searching for one of these for so long and I finally found the perfect one. This is from Home Goods. I'm not able to link it and I wish I was because I really, really love it. But you're able to kind of move these doors and then we just have some bins in there to kind of keep things organized. And on top, I got this pedestal. Oops, the boys must move that. On top, I got this pedestal from Boxwood and Binkies on Amazon and on Etsy and she has amazing little pedestals. I love this so much. And then on top of that, I got this little succulent and this was, I believe, yes, that was from Big Lots. And then next to that, I have this sign that I've had for a really long time. This always resonates with me because I am such a homebody and I got this from Hobby Lobby. And then moving over, we just have this little sign from the Target dollar spot that says family and then this little stem that I got from Hobby Lobby. And then off to the right even more, we have these two little 
flower signs. They have like metal flowers inside and I love the color. These were again on clearance from Big Lots. So as soon as I saw them, I just loved them and I decided to go ahead and snag them up. And then I have this diffuser and I get a ton of questions about my diffusers, but all of them are from Amazon. Moving out of the living room into this little hallway, you just turn right and this is our bedroom. And I decided to go ahead and leave this laundry in here. That way you guys know we are living here because there is no way that we live in a house and we don't have at least one load of laundry that needs to get put away. That's just so unrealistic, so there you go. <laughs> so I'm going to start with our bed, all of our bedroom furniture. There's Miss Micah, of course. All of our bedroom furniture is from Ashley Furniture. And then these lamps right here, I get a ton of questions about these. And the base and the shade was both from Walmart and I just love how it looked and I felt like it paired really well with our bed. And then our white bedding is from Kohl's. I believe they don't carry the exact one anymore, but I will try to link one that's very similar. And then this blanket is just from Ross. I really liked the deep color. And then those pillows up there, the white, the blue ones are also from Ross and the white one is as well, I believe. And then this tray is from TJ Maxx. This little sign, it says, I do love you. It's actually from Valentine's Day and I've just kept it in here because it's kind of like a little bit romantic. And I got that from a local cafe called Neaters. And then this, I can't remember if this one's from Ross. Yes, this one is from Ross. This is the only thing that I kind of can't stand about this is I have to use one of these little stands from the Target dollar spot to prop this sign up, but there you go. Next to our bed, we have this little sitting area and I really, really love this area. So these chairs are actually from Target. I believe I got them on Target from Target Online. And then these two pillows, they are also from our spring decor but I just kept them out because I still thought they fit and they are from Marshalls and then I get a ton of questions about this little bench or table so the top comes off and I'm able to store things inside and so I usually have a bunch of like extra sheets in there and this is from Ikea. I also got a floor length mirror recently this actually kind of looks like it belongs with this set but it was actually from Home Depot and I just love having a full length mirror now and then on here, I have another diffuser, a few little willow tree pieces. Let me know if you guys are like me and love willow tree, but they just speak to me and I'm just kind of loving them. And then I also have this sign and this was custom made from my friend Ashley from Something You Would Love. I will try and link this down below, but I love this one so much, especially paired with the willow tree. And then we just have a family picture. And then on our long dresser, we have another willow tree. This one is just supposed to be me and Kyle. And this is me and Kyle. Let me see if I can show you guys. This is Kyle and I on our wedding day. We were so young. And then in here, I really honestly don't love how this is all decorated, but I want to hopefully kind of come and redo this area. But I just have this sign that says, all because two people fell in love. And then a few little vases in there. And I do have some flowers. I want to say this is from, oh, I didn't, I actually took a tag off something. What do you know? This, I believe, is from Ross. If not, that is from Marshalls. And then another willow tree. And this lamp is from Ikea. Okay, and then coming right out of our room, if you go straight down this hallway and then you turn right, you will go into the powder room. And this is actually a room that, again, I just have not even decorated at all. And so I'm hoping that I can do like a makeover in this space. If that's something that you guys want to see, definitely leave a comment below. And then instead of going right, if you go left, this is our garage right here. And then we just have like a little coat hook. This is actually a coat closet on this side, but it's a mess in there. So I'm not going to open that up. And then straight into here is our laundry room. If you guys missed that video where I remade this laundry room, you definitely have to go watch it. It was a really, really good one. And honestly, I feel like this looks so good now, but it did not look good before. It was kind of a mess. So this is completely a favorite in my house now. I just love it so much. 
Okay, so now we are back in the main living area and I'm going to take you guys upstairs. So right when you walk upstairs, you have this sign and I got this from Ross several years ago, but I just love it so much. So when you come up the stairs, if you just turn left, you will run into the boys bathroom and this is a room I just made over. I made a video on that and I shared that the other day. So if you guys have not seen that, you guys have to go watch that. I love, love, love how this room turned out. So these signs up here were all from Hobby Lobby and I believe they were $5 each because they were on half off. And then these florals also came from Hobby Lobby as well as this face. I got several questions from you guys in that video on where I got this diffuser from. This is my only diffuser that was not from Amazon and this one is from Simply Earth. And then this plant right here is actually from Ikea along with the little tin that it is in. And then this little guy along with this gorgeous candle is from the Dollar Tree. Definitely check it out when you need some decor because they have some good stuff. And then this furniture was just from Hobby Lobby as well. They are having a huge event right now. So if you need some furniture, definitely go check them out because a lot of their things are really on sale. This laundry basket is one that I've had for a long time, but I just got this from Burlington Coat Factory. I got this adorable little trash can. I love this thing so much. And I got that from Marshalls. And then this bench was from Amazon and I just went ahead and painted it. And one of my favorite things, that is one of my favorite things because I can go ahead and just tuck this away. And then the shower curtain is one of my favorites and it's from Amazon. It was under $20, so I'll link that down below if you guys are interested, but I love the look of this. The next thing in here is the shelf and this shelf itself is actually from Hobby Lobby. And then also that sign is from Hobby Lobby. And then aside from this little stand that's from Target Dollar Spot for $1, everything else is from the Dollar Tree. Next, I just kept everything on the counter really simple in here. So the first thing is we have a wallflower right here from Bath and Body Works. And then this is just, I think it came in like a three pack from Marshalls. And this is where I have the toilet paper. And then right here I have another glass soap dispenser and a cup for the boys along with our toothbrushes. And then this is another one of those little stoneware trays and this is from Grove Collaborative again. And then right here we don't have any area to actually like hang a towel in our bathroom. And so I just got this from Walmart several years ago. Maybe it was like almost two years ago. And then I actually just put some hand towels on here. And then coming out of the bathroom, you turn left and this is the boys room. All three boys do share a room and I get a lot of questions about that, but they all wanted to share a room and then have a playroom. So that's what we've done. But as you can see, we have really not decorated this room at all. And so I'm planning to do a big boys room makeover. So if you guys wanna see that, let me know and I will be sure to put that on the calendar. I'm not sure when I'm gonna be doing it, but if you guys are really interested, I will definitely push that one up and get that one done for you guys. I did wanna mention, I do get a lot of questions about these blankets and where I got them for the boys. I have a football one for Luke and then I have a soccer one for Noah and then a baseball one up here for Liam. And I actually made all these blankets for them whenever they were born. So those are something you can't buy at the store, but you can definitely make them. Right here is our hall closet. And this is the closet that I made over in a video. I will link that up, up above if you guys have not seen that. And then right here we have a bookshelf along with like a small little area that I usually decorate for the kids and a little mirror right here. And I love this little area, I think it's so cute. So this bookshelf right here is actually from Ikea again. And then this sign is from Heart of This Home Designs. And then these little daisies are just from Ross. And this flower tree is from the Target Dollar Spot. And then turning left, you come into our playroom slash guest room. I did a whole video on remaking this room again, but I get a ton of questions about this little area. 
If you are, if you've been with me for a while, you see that we have actually taken out a lot of toys in this room and it feels so good. And I feel like the boys have been fighting even less with this. So this little stand is just from Walmart. It's the Better Homes and Gardens brand. And then also these bins are from Walmart as well. And then the bed, I love this bedding. It's like the most comfortable bedding. It's from JCPenney's. This I get a ton of questions about. And this is actually from Ikea. You can't totally see it right now, I don't feel, but if you've seen my other videos, you know what I'm talking about. But this actually pushes in and it becomes just like a twin day bed, or you can pull it out and it's almost like a king. So we end up leaving it left out like this a lot just because the boys end up wanting to sleep in here together. So, and we have guests all the time and it's actually a pretty large room. And so they end up still having a lot of space to play in here, but that's what we do. And I actually have to go ahead and put this picture back up on the wall, it just fell down. And then this bookshelf slash lamp is from Walmart. And then on the other side of the bed, I have these stems, these like wooden stems from Ikea. And then the container that they are in on the bottom is from TJ Maxx. Okay, so I'm all done showing you our house, but I wanted to share one more area with you guys, and that is our basement. I've already been getting a ton of messages and comments from you guys, just wondering like what we've been doing with our basement. And honestly, we have not been doing a lot. It has just been kind of survival mode lately. We are getting into summer and it's just been so crazy and so busy and we've got family coming from out of town and we're about to go on a trip and so, with that, we have not done a whole ton, but Kyle has been doing something, so I am going to take you guys down there and just give you guys a little bit of an update, and hopefully next time I give you guys an update, it will be a big difference. So let's head downstairs, and I'll show you where we're at. All right, so this is the door into the basement. We were supposed to recycle all this stuff, but it's just been so far down our list, and Kyle hasn't really needed to yet, so we haven't moved a lot of the things in this room, but this is going to be a bedroom it'll be kind of a small bedroom and <laughs> excuse the mess you guys but it'll be really nice to have a third bedroom down here and then when you come down the basement if you don't turn right and you turn left you have this large opening right here and then this will end up being like a game room area I think and then in here I believe I told you guys but we are actually going to be putting like some built-in bunk beds right there and that's gonna be awesome for when we have like our cousins come over or anything or just extra friends, it'll be really nice to have that area. This is kind of a sunken basement, so we are actually going to have a stair follow along this path right here. And then this is going to end up being like a theater room. So we'll probably get like some blackout shades and then have a projector go to this wall. And one of the things that Kyle has been doing is been framing out the windows. So now the windows have been framed out. There are no boards in front of them. And then off to the right, we are in one of the boys' rooms. Like I said, the windows have been framed out and the closet is going to end up going right here. He just has to get that all framed up. But he did end up finishing framing in these walls right here, so that was a big task. And then coming out of that room and into this room, this is again going to be another one of the boys' rooms. We still have this couch. I think we are maybe giving this to my sister and brother-in-law, but this will be another one of the boys' rooms. And this is kind of where Kyle's at, so he still needs to frame this wall in but we are waiting because we need to get an HVAC guy to come in and actually move these AC lines and kind of put them over a little bit closer to the ductwork so that he can put a soffit right here and then frame those in. And then the next step is he is going to end up framing in this wall right here. So like I said, he really hasn't done too, too much. He pretty much just finished framing in this wall and this wall and then kind of framed out the windows and that's kind of it but we've been talking a lot of things and honestly our goal is to get this done by the end of September because we have a ton of friends coming in and a ton of family we just really want to get it done we actually had like 15 or 17 people in our house I think twice in the last month and we have a three-bedroom house right now without the basement so it was very squishy, but I just think once we have this area done it'll be so nice so our goal is September Hold me to it guys because <laughs> the more pressure you put on me the more pressure i can put on kyle and the quicker we can get this done okay so that is everything for our summer slash updated house tour i hope that you guys enjoyed watching and i hope this gave you like some fun ideas to maybe how to decorate your house or 
just enjoyable to watch. Sometimes you just like to watch things just to watch them. So either way, I hope you guys enjoyed and do not forget to subscribe down below if you are not already and also head over to Instagram and follow me over there. I share a lot. I tell you guys this all the time, but I share a lot of more personal things over there and just when I'm not sharing videos, I'm usually over there kind of updating you guys. So I hope you guys have an amazing day and I will see you in my next one.